You are gorgeous. Now, careful of the lightning, okay? Yeah, let's go. Let me grab my bag, and then... Whoa! Greetings, my minions, and welcome back. Ah! To Attack of the BT Mod Pack with yours truly, Dr. Professor Dumblesaurus. And yes, indeed, it is raging storm outside, and whoa! Do you know what this means, Igor? You do, don't you? Just nod. Show me a sign. Yes, Igor. Good minion. You're a good minion. You don't have to go in the timeout room. But my friends, you know what this means? This means it's time to create a new minion. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We always love it when it rains and thunders and lightnings because that is the best time to create a minion. In fact, why don't we bring our minion here along? Igor, would you like to come? Of course you would. You're going to get a friend, a cousin, a sister, a brother, or something along that line. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I've been waiting for a storm, and this is kind of random. I was just down here doing some chiseling. Yeah. Um, I was messing around with some micro blocks, in fact, because I want to make the... Um, I was going to go make the cabana. Ooh! My exotic pets and imports cabana shop in town over at... Um, and the plot I, I bought over at Flim Flam Village. So I've been messing around with, uh, like, these, uh, these micro blocks, which are really cool. So I made up a diamond saw, and you can cut them up into smaller pieces. Oh, I must hurry. I'm... Huh? What the heck? Are you kidding me? Where's my altar? Up, up and away in my beautiful balloon B-dubs. No, I was going to make something today. <laughs> my altar is gone. It is entirely gone. Oh, man. No, I need the storm. Crud. Up, up, away at my beautiful balloon. That's a song. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, plan B, unless I can make a new altar really quickly. Oh, darn. Oh, this is perfect, too. Shucks. All right, what did he do with it? <laughs> Gotta be up here somewhere. Up, up, away in my beautiful balloon. Cryptic message. Crypt oh, wait, there's some color. Oh, are you kidding me? That is a balloon! <laughs> wow, it's an air balloon. Hey, it's Mr. Corrales. What's up, bro? Look at this thing! Oh, there's my altar! Oh, this is the floor. He took the whole dang floor with it. How did he do this? Oh, it's a, it is an actual balloon. This is the Archimedes ship. Whoa. Hold the phone. Are you telling me this thing is portable? Oh, man. B-dubs. This, this rocks. I can do, like, birthday parties now. I can just fly around, go to birthday parties, and, uh... <laughs> does it actually fly? Yeah, and make minions and monsters for kids. Oh, well, yeah, that'd be fun. But how do I look in my new portable? <laughs> the portable altar! We're right in the clouds. It doesn't get any better than this. All right, maybe it doesn't work. I, I'm, I'm afraid to click on that thing and crash something. Okay, I don't think it works. Maybe there's some some weirdness going on here with the altar. All right, I, but what we well man, we gotta we gotta take advantage of the storm while it's cranking. Oh, this is sweet. All right, I'll, I'll figure out how to drive it later. Oh, 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 come on. We gotta get down here. I gotta get all the body parts. And I have an idea for this new minion. I'm gonna make a little, a little, a little piggy girl for Igor. He, he needs companionship. Oh, no, the sun's coming up. No. KK, KK. Aww. You know how I love to make my minions in the rain and the thunder. Just like... Dr. Frankenstein did in Frankenstein's monster. So let's grab everything we need and we'll fly back up there. I need piggy wiggy stuff. Um, muscle, skin, necronomicon, lungs, brains, hearts, and um, a, a witchy body. Wow, I'm full. I, I hope that's everything. Oh, but I gotta sew the pieces up here first. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, yo, it's the Chimster. And suddenly we're getting all kinds of popular here. Everybody's showing up. Let's get rid of this stuff. I have something to make for Chim, too. It's going to be an awesome prank. Um, I was playing around off camera uh, in a single-player world making minions to see what would be cool. 
to try to make some weird looking stuff and oh no and I've got some really cool looking ideas oh Jimmy shut off the storm didn't he stupid witch <laughs> bring it back bring it back uh, you know what I'll ask him to set up the storm soon hey dude was working on a minion working on a minion might need some lightning again <laughs> that's the only way to do it all right put the needles in here he rubs the lotion on its body and we need to make oh hold on let me i don't know if he shut that off I, i've got the uh, necromancer necromancy mod up here on my other screen so i remember how to do all this nonsense so we need a brain i be normal you put an abnormal brain in this oh everything's gonna pop out it happens every time can we fix that, please? Okay, man. Whew. Okay, this is... All right, no, open. Uh, I'm, uh, this is the head. Let's make the head. And we need two eyeballs, and those are spider eyes, of course. We need a brain. The only way to function with a brain. Now, we've got to decide. What do we want to throw in here? So if you guys haven't seen this before, what we basically do is throw in certain chunks of food, of meat food. Uh, well, it is food, I guess. Oh, uncooked. And that will determine the actual type of head or body part that we're working on. Right now, we're going to go with a pig head because I have a little bit of a theme going on here. And um, we're going to make a cute little piggy. Widow, little, a Widow Miss Piggy Girl. So I'm just looking at the recipe here on the, on my Macintosh. Because otherwise, I would not... No! I need bones. Of course you need bones. Otherwise, it would be a boneless minion and <laughs> wouldn't be able to walk around. Uh, I'd be like those chickens at the boneless chicken ranch. You know those, right? They just kind of lay around on the ground. Have you ever been to a boneless chicken ranch? Oh, man, is it funny. How do they grow them like that without bones? Weird. I don't know, but they do. All right, we need we need a heart. Thum, thum. Thum, thum. Thum, thum. This is the body. We need lungs. Must breathe. You must breathe, Miss Piggy. Um, And um, it's not going to be a pig body, though. It's going to be... Yes! Rotten poison potato. <laughs> it took me forever to get those stupid things. Which torso? Oh, Ziggy. That's Ziggy. He's alright. Um, okay. So, oh no, I hope I have enough skin for this thing. Man, you go through a lot of skin when you make minions. All right, uh, a couple of bones up at the top. I can't believe B Dubs moved my my altar. <laughs> what a psycho! Well, you know what? We're heading over to his place because I wanted to build up my uh, my cabana today. I was actually getting prepared for all that. And then, uh, um, what are we making right now? Muscle. Oh, this must be the arms. It's okay because okay, it's all pig. We're going all pig. Feet, pig legs, yep. And then now the arms. So, yeah, I wanted to move everything over there and get started on my cabana. And I can put my uh, my little guy in there. Oh, Igor, you wanted to be here for this. I'll bring him up. We'll let him, we'll bring him up to the altar. Um, man, it's so exciting. I love making minions. And more muscle. Need muscle. This is the arm. Now I... Oh, I'm running out of space here. Oh, i got to make two of these. <gasps> no! That's only one arm. <laughs> I need four more skins. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I've got cows. I'll go kill some, and I'll be right back. Because Chim can do the weather for us anyway, so it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, wait, I still need the muscle. Just, uh, looks like just one. I don't need brains in the arms. That would be weird. Now, I know I don't really need a storm to make a minion, and it's funny because I saw a couple of comments about that. You know, it doesn't have to rain. You can do it any time. But it's just way more fun and effective and thematic. Dimples, get away from the hedge. These guys always get stuck on the hedges. Or maybe they're just all forlorn. They're like, oh, I just want to go. I enjoy my freedom. Why'd you put this hedge up? Look at it. Yeah. This hedge is just keeping me from exploring and, and spreading my wings. And just going over there. Darn hedge. Can you get rid of this hedge? <laughs> all right, piggy. Piggy. Ah, oh, no, I don't need piggy. I need cowsies. So let's kill some cows. <laughs> and the pigs are all like, cool. 
Yeah, you kill cows. Just don't kill us. Make babies! Whoa. They weren't sure about what to do. They're like, wait, what do we do? How do we, how do, we do this again? And then they, then it all came back to them. All in a jiff. It was like, oh, bang, right. Not, no, not bang. Bang, like, bang, like, we got it. Bang. Get your minds out of here. Alright. Leather! Who else would like to donate to the necromancer? Dr. Franken. Sores. Alright, let's be off, let's be off. Dimples, forget about it. <laughs> Besides, this place is going to be crawling with, with guests soon. We're going to have lots of people coming in. We just have to build a hotel and uh, send out the flyers. And then, well, we have to populate it with many more dinosaurs and exotic pets and creatures, of course. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that done. I, I'm gonna, I might hire Corrales to help me with that. Or maybe B-dubs to build up that hotel. He's a good builder. But I don't know. After moving my altar, man... I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. So, how do I make this stuff again? Alright, first of all, we'll turn back into me. Ow! Ow, that hurts! Dr. Frankensauls. Okay, now. Alright, we just stick this in here and make a bunch of skin. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. That's easy, but I don't want to use up all my leather. So, let's... Oh, you! Oh, those poor cows. I had leather right in there. <laughs> oh, isn't it ironic? I don't to think. Oh, this works too. You can just swipe it in my ironing board. All right. Not the board, the iron, actually. So, um, shows you how much ironing I do, right? So, let's toss a muscle in here. Boom. And then... A, another piggy arm, and boom, two piggy arms. We have a piggy head, two piggy arms, piggy legs, and, uh, uh, I don't really have to do it here. I'm just demonstrating what this is going to look like. Like that, sort of, kind of, not really, but you'll see. <laughs> Let's put the eyeballs back where they belong. Now, I'm going to need a jar of blood, soul in a jar, a necronomicon, and we will release Igor. I, you know what? I'm afraid if I release him up on that balloon, he'll fall off because he's kind of dumb. He's not all there. Don't tell, Ziggy, don't you dare tell him I said that. He's very sensitive. Little Igor. Okay, let's go up, up, and away to our lovely... Amazing balloon, P Dubs. <laughs> How did he? So he had to rebuild the whole thing, then, right? Yeah, because here's all. Uh, wait, yeah, here's my um. Oh, unless this was just extra. Did he somehow just like use M's? I don't know. How do you do that? You just pick a spot and then raise it up. He might have. Oh, I bet I know what he did. He used buffer blocks. He put the buffers in here. The Archimedes buffers, maybe. And then put the little um, helm on it and then flew it up like that and then built the balloon on top of it up there. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to fly like that. I think that's probably what it did because I think there were solid blocks here at one point. That's my guess. All right. Oh, night times are coming, folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to have to get you down here safely, too. If... Oh, they won't die because there's water. They'll fall in the water. Yeah, I go. I can come out and play. Cool. All right, I'm gonna have to um, contact the chimney poo, the witch. Is he still here? Yep. And um, we're gonna have him call up some storm as soon as that sun goes down, and then we're gonna we're gonna get this done. So let me let me release. Let me make myself back to me. Oh, dang it! Something here that's sticky. <laughs> this is cool. I really want to do parties. I want to do some parties. I'm going to do some parties. Put that down there. And let us... Oh, no, my trader. Oh, I'm going to have to do these guys one at a time, is all. Igor and the other... And uh, Piggy. Miss Piggy. Piggy Wiggy when I get her down. All right, Igor. I will... You stand up. Yeah, there's something there. Something there. It's invisible. Oh. They're invisible blocks here. Hope my uh, I, I hope this still works. Or maybe they're camouflaged. 
I maybe I have to move. Maybe he doesn't want me to fly it because it's going to break. Anyway, let's put. Um, are we in. We're in release mode now. Listen, dude, don't fall off. Okay, so stay. Make sure he stays. Are you in stay mode? Don't go near the edge, Igor. Good, you still have your name. Stay right there. Don't be careful. Whew. This thing could explode at any moment. I have no idea how safe it is. <laughs> Let me eat. I cannot create minion <clears throat> on empty stomach. Okay, let us throw in the jar of blood and the soul in a jar. Now, I shall I shall bequeath bequeath? I shall behest. Request? Request? <laughs> Uh, what's her face? Chimney poo for thunder. Um, may I have thunder just for a minute? Just for a minute. Just for a minute, please. <laughs> yes. Yes. Put the Necronomic out in my hand. Here we go, Igor. Here we go. Delicate work. We need thunder and lightning. And I'll put in some amazing sound. M amazing sound, amazing music. Come on, witch, you can do it. I have faith. Ah, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Let us give life to this monstrous. No, you're not a monster. I didn't. Did I say monster? No. Ma minion! Give life to this minion. I shall set forth the head, and we shall put in an arm, and another arm, and legs, and a torso. Pour in the blood and the soul. Here she is. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> yes! Give it life. Give it life, Igor. Stand back. Stand back, Igor. Ah, uh, so good. Okay, now, if I recall... Now, whatever you do, don't fall off. Let me just make sure if she starts to fall, I will shoot her and capture her. Are we in cap mode? We are in capture mode. Okay. Grace lightning in the sky. Strike this altar and give life to this minion of mine. Miss Piggy. Let's get her heart going. Ready? Why do I make this such a big ordeal? Because <laughs> it's way more fun than just... Whatever. Okay. Here we go. This is what happened last time. Oh, there she is! You don't have to use the book. Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. And you, I love your dress. <laughs> I would demonstrate how you walk so gracefully in that dress. Beautiful, Piggy. You are gorgeous. Now, careful of the lightning, okay? Yeah, let's go. I grab my bag, and then... Whoa! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I thought that would be funny if I fell. Oh! I'm not that clumsy. Oh, there you... What you do? No piggy weeds. <laughs> you followed me, didn't you? You are a good girl. Swim. Can you swim? Is that a swim gown? Come, follow. Follow, Miss Piggy. I'm not sure if Miss Piggy's going to be the best name for you, honestly, because that name is already taken. We'll come up with something. Hold on, Iga. I'm coming for you. Come on. We're almost there to the Tiki Bar. Swim. Swim faster. Wait. I know how you can swim faster. Join me. Join me at the Tiki Bar. There you are. <laughs> oh, praise the booklet of Necromancy. Okay. We're here. Welcome to the bar. And hold on while I contact the witch. Okay, thanks. Because you can't really enjoy a tiki bar. And, right, yep, yeah, just belly on up to the bar. And I'll get you a drink. Nope, drinks are over here. They're on the house because you work here, so. Nope, just, nope, over here. Yeah, I'll go get Igor. You stay here, okay? And just help yourself. There's a pina colada right there. Hey, guys, you want to set up uh, Miss Piggy Wiggy over here? Set her up. All right, treat her like family. She is. I'll be back. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, hey. 
You gotta have fun, right, folks? You gotta have fun. That's the whole point of this. All right, I'm gonna go get Igor and bring him back down. I'm gonna push him off. Just you know, a little leap of faith for Igor, right? Actually, no. I'm gonna jump off and see if he follows because we know Piggy Wiggy will. We know that Piggy Wiggy will follow me, no matter what happens, no matter where I go. Now, Igor. Oop. Now you're still here. I did. I I did. I know. I said guard this place. So, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Now, all right, now here's what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> I'm just testing. Oh, goodbye, Igor! Whoa! Yep, follow me. Good, good man. Good, good lad. Okay, get in the ball. Okay, you get to live. I was going to turn you in to Monster Jerky. But I have decided that you are a good minion. And that you deserve to serve me more. <laughs> All right. So, B Dubs, that's cool. Thanks, man. Love the balloon. Now I I need to chat with B Dubs and see if that thing is actually operational, because I'm not sure what's up with those invisible blocks. So we'll have to we'll have to check that out. Oh wait, let's get Igor out here. One we'll big happy family. Igor will serve you drinks, ma'am. Uh, let's. Put it in release mode. And can I shoot it through there? Yep, I can. Oh boy, I gotta go get that. I gotta get that. Igor, get out of the grass. Igor, Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy, Igor. You sh two shall be friends forever. And get up, man. Get up. Stand up tall. Be proud of your minion heritage. Go. Speak to her. Stop being so shy. All right, you seem to have problems. Maybe I shouldn't do that again. Um, Igor? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just a little shy, Piggy Wiggy. We're going to have to get you a name. So I'm going to have to put you back in here and give you a name. All right, then. So Igor, we'll give you a moment to recover your senses. She's a beauty. Look at her. Watch how she walks. Check out the slits down those, down the gown there. Look at it. She's showing all that leg. Huh? I was thinking of you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, see, now he can't get out of there fast enough. He's like, ooh. All right, then. Yeah, just stay right there. Calm down. Calm down. I'll put you in minion timeout room. That is a lovely gown, Miss Piggy. Now, let us give you a name, okay? Bunk. Miss Piggy's already taken. Hmm. Hmm. Tell you what, folks. Put down in the comments. Give me some ideas. It's got to be Piggy-ish. I would prefer to have Piggy in the name. Um, yeah, so I leave it to you. I'll pick the best and I'll give you a shout-out. My favorite. Okay? Cool. And then we'll get you over here on the, uh, on, the, on the wall. I haven't done the wall in a while. I don't know. Either I'm not looking for tips or I'm not getting any good tips. So, sorry. No big tipper lately. <laughs> All right. This... Uh, Darn, this is not what I was planning on doing today, but since we're done here, um, I guess we could fly over to B-Dub's place. Uh, could do that, but I have, but I gotta put all this stuff away, and I don't really have time right now. It's actually about, what time is it? Oh gosh, it's 4.30. 4.30 on a Friday. I, I need to get this, um, uh, I need to finish. I wasn't actually going to record today until, uh, until the storm started. Um, anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this, and I think what we'll do... Let's just get her out here right now in uh, no-name mode for now. There you go. There's a good girl. Just have a seat. Enjoy the fish tank. Come on. Come on. That's good. You just stay right there. You guys get to know one another. You'll be working together often. Uh, remember, team. So there's no I in team, so get used to the idea. All right, folks, I've got to go, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this kind of a short little episode. But in the next episode, here's what we're going to do. We will head over to uh, B-Dub's place, which is not too far, and that is over here, B-Dub's town. I've got a whole bunch of supplies there right now waiting for us. And then we will, um, excuse me, we will go ahead and make our exotic pets and imports cabana. So most of the material is already there. We'll make the cabana shop. We're going to put nice pool water around it. That This lovely blue tropic, uh, tropic craft water. And we'll release Mono, our, um, the guy that we captured. Right? The villager trader. I've got him in my backpack right now, I think. 
Boop. 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 Eat up. It's hard to do that like that. So, yeah, here he is. There he is. Mano, he's trapped right now in there. We'll bring him out with his little plate, trade plate, and we'll make up a little place. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like, but it's going to look like a little beachy cabana thingy. So, anyway. Lots of talky talk in this episode, but uh, hope you enjoyed anyway. And if you did, uh, a like is always appreciated. Love you guys. You're the best. And uh, I guess we'll just see you all next week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any recording this weekend, but if not, we'll see you on Monday, probably. So have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.